that time of year again, folks. It is cars and coffee season. Yeah, so we are kicking off the inaugural, uh, I can never say that word, inaugural, inaugural, uh, uh, cars and coffee at Birdhouse Coffee, which is part of Connecticut Valley Brewing in uh, South Windsor. So we're going to go over there. I'll shoot a little video, talk to a couple people probably, but uh, beautiful Sunday here in May. And uh, yeah, we're going to check in just as soon as we get there. Looking at the row of cars parked up. Look at the diversity of cars there. Colors, models, places of origin. It's a veritable melting pot of automobiles here at the Cars and Coffee at Birdhouse. This is a busy day here at Birdhouse. Coffee for the Cars and Coffee event. This is their official kind of kickoff of the season, and yeah, we got some cars, man. We got cars all around. Cars and people and dogs. And coffee. And this moron filming this video. I mean, it's never a bad day when you see uh, the E90 Generations M3s here. And I can never remember. E92, E90, I forgot which designation was the uh, coupe and the sedan. And I'm supposed to be a BMW and M3 guy. What do I know? I'm a dork. So let's keep walking over here, check out some more cars. Yes, reminiscent of my very first car that I owned. Mine was a 79.50. Not far off. I think it was way too fast for a 17-year-old kid. Definitely one of those 80s uh, bucket list cars here. The Typhoon and, of course, the Cyclone, which this is kind of based off of. This is the quote-unquote SUV version. But, uh, yeah, crazy engine there. Very, very quick. Love it. Orange car, classic. Look at that, listen to that sound, huh? Always have a good number of Cobra guys showing up. Um, this guy is pretty much very faithfully. Love it, beautiful car, a lot of fun. This is one of the other Cobras here. Look at that, huh? Just look at it. Stacks. Those are just that, that's a beautiful thing right there. I don't care what you're into for cars. I mean, I'm mainly like a European German car guy, but that is a beautiful sight to behold. It really is. The Cayman R. Look at this, huh? Pretty, pretty. Digging it. Digging it. My buddy Al. He's got a Porsche too. Air cooled. Pretty white C there. But the Mac Daddy is right here, baby. There it is. There it is, the 992 GT3. So this is the car, and I've mentioned this before, but this is the car the gentleman was driving with all the blue stuff on, the sneakers, the hat, everything, uh, that inspired me to go for the orange look. He literally had everything he was wearing match this car. Pretty incredible. And now he, uh, sorry, now he is, uh, getting the, or actually he already has the new GT3 RS, the 992, but it's, there's a wing recall or something going on. So he doesn't have it in hand yet, but it is in the country and it's down the road apparently. So we'll be seeing that car soon. Beautiful black GT3 there. Actually know whose car that is. That used to be a guy named Nick's car. He sold to this gentleman, I believe. And he's driving on into the Birdhouse Cars and Coffee. Looking good. Red box, dude. Love it. Might be the first 944 I saw at this show. I don't know. Not see a lot of those around, even though there's, yeah, there's apparently few kicking around. People spending their entire life savings working on them. Little red oh, yeah. It's not little. Mean looking. We've got the Sam Malone era Corvette. Looking good. Pretty. I can't get this to zoom out because I am no Spielberg with this camera. I'm probably going to fall into a ditch as I'm walking backwards. Definitely turned into a very 9-11 friendly day. They are just everywhere. Speaking of, there goes the air-cooled turbo. My buddy Al taking off. Love that car. Toyota slash BMW here. Of course, we're talking about the Supra. It's got a BMW engine. Everybody knows that by now. But they are still fantastic cars. Very quick. Real pretty. That 
that thing is pretty. And man, that thing is rumbling when that thing gets going. I mean, the NSX, come on, look at this thing. Look at it, just look at it. Pretty wild. I think I've only seen one of these at this particular Cars and Coffee event. It's got a wrap on it, it said it was originally a silver car. There's the Mustang again that looks like my color, lava orange. It's an orange uh, Challenger right next to it. We got a Bel Air warming up. Looks like he's going to take off. Lotus. This thing's pretty wild, huh? The low rider older Mercedes. It's got like a Dunkin' Donuts sticker on it or something. I don't know what look this guy's going for exactly, but I'll tell you what. If he's happy, I'm happy. Pretty wild. The yellow Carrera 4 997. Love it. What's up, puppy dog? Another yellow yeah. car. Place is hopping. Definitely hopping today. Usually starts around 8 a.m. And uh, yeah, by quarter of it was already jamming. <laughs> 